hello friends welcome to sure grade success so in this video we are going to learn about multiplication of matrix there are two kind of multiplication one is by a scalar that is by a real number or another is multiplication of two matrices that is one matrices by another matrix so let's start with the scalar one first so in a scalar one first read out the definitions let a and b any m by n matrix it is the size of the matrix and k be any real number we have considered k as any real number which is called as a scalar number then the matrix m by n is obtained by multiplying every element of matrix if we are having a matrix and we have to multiply with any of the scalar number then what we have to do is we have to multiply the every element of that matrix with the scalar number see here we are having a matrix a whose element is a i and j and its size is m by n so if we want to multiply it with a scalar what we have to do we have to multiply each element aig is what element we have to multiply each element with this scalar quantity for example uh, let me take an example where a is any number let's say 5 2 1 6 2 1 and 3 3 4 so it is a matrix that is being provided and if you want to find out and if you want to find out a multiplication with 3 where 3 is what a scalar quantity what we have to do is we have to multiply 3 with every element so firstly we have to multiply 3 with 5 then it will be what 15 second is 3 to the 6 3 by 1 is 3 3 times 6 is 18 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 1 is 1 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 3 is 9 again 3 times 4 is 12 so this will be what scalar multiplication so now let's move on to the properties of the scalar multiplication scalar matrix multiplication so the first property is that the addition of matrices got distributed in matrix multiplication when we are multiplying it with the scalar quantity what does it mean it means that if there is any scalar number let us say k and we have to multiply it with any addition of matrices so it will be distributed distributed will be what that k will be k is along with a and k also will be along with b so you can see one thing here we are multiplying k with an addition of matrices and what happens is k got distributed to a as well as b so this is the meaning of distribution over the addition of matrices so now the another property is if p and q are two scalars and a is any m by n matrix so if it is so what will be there is p and q p and q are two matrices and we have to do what we have to find multiplication with a so in this case what we can do is as we have done earlier also we can multiply a with b that means it will be p a and we will multiply a inside and it will be q a so this is another property of a scalar matrix multiplication now comes the third property if p and q are two matrices and a is a matrix of size m by n then if we are multiplying with q first and then we are multiplying with p 
it is not going to impact if we are multiplying p and q first and then we are multiplying with a it is another property that means it doesn't even matter whether you multiply a scalar quantity with a matrix first or you are multiplying two scalar numbers with each other then you are multiplying with matrix so this is another property these are the basic things you might be aware about those things because these are the normal scalar matrix multiplication that we have done earlier also so the fourth is if a is the matrix of size m by n and k is any scalar matrix then minus k into a is equal to minus k into a is equal to k into minus a these three things will be equal because you can see that if we are multiplying a with k minus is not going to make any impact so it is a trivial thing that means minus k into a or k into a negation or k minus a so this will be same so that's it for this video if you are having any queries in any of the videos you can comment down the video or you can also get back to us via my email id or via my facebook fan page i will be happy to help you out if you are finding this video relevant do subscribe and share with your friends also in the next video we are going to learn about the matrix multiplication that is multiplication of the matrices with another matrix thank you